Alhamdulillah. <coughs> وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى أتاه اليقين فصلاة وسلاما على عبدك ونبيك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصم صعد رسول عن رسول الله صعد رسول الله سلام على المنبر فقال آمين 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 فلما نزل سأله الصحابة قال أتين جبريل فقال رغم أن فمرين أدرك رمضان فلم يغفر له فقل آمين فقلت آمين وقال رغم أن فمرين ذكرت ذكرت عنده فلم يصلي عليك عليه الصلاة والسلام فقل آمين فقلت آمين وقال رغم أنف امرئ أدرك والديه أو أحدهما فلم يغفر له قل آمين فقلت آمين أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام أما بعد Oh praise to Allah Oh praise to Allah The one, the only, the one who should be worshipped I bear witness that Muhammad عليه الصلاة والسلام is his messenger True mercy sent to us If you follow his path Inshallah will be in Jannah أما بعد I know it's too early and I know I'm talking about the subject that many of us say, oh, it's still far away. Ramadan! You see, I, I'm using a long, a long verb. Ramadan! It's far away. I'm reminding you it's coming tomorrow. I always say that every year. In the same time, I have the same khutbah. I copied it from last year. Ramadan is coming within 12 weeks. Exactly. 12 weeks, Ramadan is here. And... Are we ready? You know, always I say to be a, a, a sport, usually the, the, to be a good sport, to, to win a great game, you have to prepare. You don't see an athlete coming and winning a race without preparation. You cannot. You cannot. Simple and easy. You cannot. It's life. You have to prepare yourself. Then what should we prepare? First, you have to know what's Ramadan. 
what's the importance of Ramadan. We have to talk to our family about Ramadan. I know what's happening back home and they'll talk at the end about it, that, oh, it's important and we have to talk about it all the time. Yes, we have to. But we have to prepare ourselves here. We have to make sure that we stand and understand. Stand and understand our religion more. Stand our obligations to ourselves first and to others. If you don't even know your obligations on yourself, you're in trouble. If I don't know what should I do to myself, how can I know what should I do about others? How? Then, let's move on. If you don't know how to pray, like last week, a khatib talked about prayer here. Do you know how to pray? That's the question. You have to know how to pray. Some people are just praying. No, no, no. It's, just, it's not just praying. You have to know how to pray. You have to learn how to pray. Read how to pray. Now I'm talking about Ramadan. How can I do it? First, you have to know that this is the month the Quran was down on it. It came down. This is the month that the uh, heavens, door heavens is open and the hellfire is closed. This is the month that the uh, Satans are closed. I didn't mean closed. What I meant is that they are handcuffed. And some people, some of the ulama, which I agree with, this doesn't mean that they are handcuffed, they are stored somewhere. No. Why do we do sins? Some people of us in Ramadan do sins, right? How? How do you do sins? It's our, there are, you know, Sayyidina Abu Bakr said we have four enemies. He has four, Sayyidina Abu Bakr has four enemies. Who are the enemies? Al-Shaytan, Al-Dunya, Al-Nafsu, Al-Hawa. Shaytan, Satan, the dunya, the world. And nafs, my, my body, what I want and desire, I hawa, what I want. These are our enemies, and all our enemies, this is Abu Bakr. Now, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, we have a lot of more. I, I can keep on talking, I'll end the khutbah with that, but it's not the, this is not the entire time. Then, what should I do more? Prepare the dua. Subhanallah, if you read the ayat of Ramadan, it says, Shah Ramadan, in the Quran, the next ayah, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي And the next ayah, talking about Ramadan again. Do you prepare any, any dua, specific dua? Do you need anything from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? You need your son to be better. You need to get a good wife. You need to have, like said Zainan Zakaria said, وَأَصْلَحْنَا لَهُ بِزَوْجًا Your wife is, the, is good and is, is good to you. An Arabi came to the Prophet Ali What's an Arabi? Someone from outside the city came to the Prophet Ali and he told him, Oh Prophet, is Allah far or Allah near? Why? If he's far, I'll yell. If he's near, I'll whisper. And subhanAllah, across the Quran, if you read across the Quran, you will see that everything the Prophet was asked, وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الْأَهِ الَّتِي قُلْ وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ الْيَتَامَ قُلْ وَيَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنْ قُلْ Except in this part. Except in this ayah. No one between you and Allah. Even the Prophet. Even the Prophet. والسلام, the best of Allah's creation. No, you can raise your hand and ask Allah anything you want. Every night Allah forgives. Allah forgives people. Every night. And if you're forgiven once, you're lucky. Alhamdulillah, you're done. Allah gives in Ramadan, in fasting, more than He gives to any other day. And the question to every one of you, are you fasting? I'm, not, I'm talking about today, yesterday, the day before, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow is hard because I, uh, I have a party tomorrow. It's a weekend. How about Monday? How about Tuesday? You wake up, everyone wakes up before us. It's 8 o'clock and we have lunch at 1, 3? Lunch, free? If you have lunch at 4.30 or 4.45 and you skip breakfast, you got a day of fasting. And if you fast one day, Allah separates you from the hellfire. 70 years. Just one day. Allah is the one who is rewarding you. And it's, it's cold outside. Is it easy 
eat. It's very easy to fast. Prepare. Let's. It's a preparation. And we are lucky enough here. Days are short. It's 10 hours. If you work at 8, 9, 7, it's, you can start from this and uh, break your fast at 4.45. Done. The day is gone. And you get one day. It has a night It's equal to 83 years. And it's not equal. Allah didn't say equal. خَيْرٌ مِنْ أَلْفِ شَهْرٍ And I always give a khutbah before. خَيْرٌ It can be you have a dollar and I have, it, I, I have ten dollars and you have eleven dollars. You're, you're better than me. I have ten dollars and have, you have a million. Still you're more than me. Billion. And so on. Allah said khair means more. And Allah didn't say how more. And I believe, I understand from that, khair means that what you believe in, how far you can go, how high you can want. How much did you try to catch that night? The problem we're aiming at, and every say every every year, Allah, I say it, everyone is aiming for the 27th. Wallahi, I haven't heard one hadith saying it's 27th. I haven't heard one hadith saying 27th. The ulama said it's a maybe. Aim for the last 10 days. We have a hadith saying that's last 10 days, 10 nights. Try to aim for the 10 nights. Is it hard to try to do your job? Try to give. Remember the cattle fetch. This is very important. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لكم فاستغفروا يا فوزا مستغفرين. اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في أمرنا وضفنا وصلنا على محمد الله الرحمن الرحيم. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعين ونستغفر ونستهدي ونعوذ بالله من شر أنفسنا سيئة أعمالنا. أما بعد، I'll talk more about Ramadan. But how we lose Ramadan? That's what is important. I believe I remember all of the time that one of the Sahaba used to ask the Prophet not only how to gain حسنات. No, he always asked him how to avoid سيئات. How to avoid sayyat? I'm telling you now how we are how to not to lose Ramadan. First, we sleep a lot. How do we sleep a lot? My son is here. You wake up all night playing Fortnite and you sleep all day. And you say, Alhamdulillah, I'm fasting. <laughs> you lose that. Many hasanat. Okay, I'm not, uh, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> too much TV. Too much TV. And too much food. Right? SubhanAllah. We prepare the food as we're coming from hunger. And our brothers in Gaza cannot find some water to drink. SubhanAllah. Our fridges are, are packed to the door. Some people are putting a slug to lock the door. And SubhanAllah. We're preparing for Ramadan. I know people prepare Ramadan as they are going in a hunger strike. I'm striking now and now time to eat. SubhanAllah. Allah says, Shah Ramadan, you unzil afil Quran. Huh? Shah Ramadan. Not unzil afil akil. We like to eat and we start in a, in, a, in, a, in a way. I remember when I was young, you have to start from sambusa and then you eat uh, whatever and you go for kapsa. Uh, it's, it's a rule. And I'm not sure where this rule is coming from. What the Prophet did? Dates, water, go and pray. And then come back, if there is anything to eat, he'll eat whatever is stands in front of him. By the way, Ramadan comes and goes very quickly. Very quickly. You will not believe how fast it will go. What's our homework? First, try it, like I said, to fast one or two days. Try. One or two days now. I'm talking about now. Teach your kids. Can I fast Sunday alone? Yes, why not? Sunday is a good day. So fast alone. You can do that. You can fast Monday or Thursday. You can fast any day if you want. Two, try to read at least one page a night. Try. If you miss something, don't feel bad. Next day, try again one, one more page. One page. Three, try to add two rakab after Aisha. You know we pray Aisha. Most of us pray Aisha. And pray maybe what? Not a maybe. You have to pray what? It's Sunnah Mu'akkad. I'm saying maybe. It's not a maybe. It's a must. You have to pray what every night. Sayyidina Ali said, Abarani Habibi alayhi salatu salam. You have, cannot leave what every night. You cannot. Pray what every night. But before what? Two rak'ah. Two rak'ah extra. And wow, if I can do or four, alhamdulillah. Don't go more. Try your best to do that. Prepare yourself dua. Prepare dua for that, for Ramadan. And definitely, definitely, I cannot finish the khutbah without talking about our brothers. The khutbah today was about Ramadan. 
and fasting. But definitely, I will not go and leave the member without talking about Gaza. And the genocide is happening there. I cannot. Why? It's an ummah thing. It's not something that it's happening for our someone which I don't care about. No, we have to care. We have to care because we care about any, we care about no genocide anywhere, no killing anywhere in this world. We cannot accept that. When Ukraine was killed, we started, said no, no killing in Ukraine should stop. The Russians should stop. No killing there. We're asking to have the similar thing. What's happening in Gaza? Stop killing. That's what we want. Stop the war. Get humanitarian things inside. People are dying. Not from bombs only, from hunger. They are fasting not like us, luxury. I'm fasting, luxury. I'm fasting because I want hasanat. No, they are fasting because they don't have anything to eat. Or drink. I'm not talking about something that they can manage, they cannot. They don't have nothing, nothing. People are dying there from hunger. And we have to do something about it. What should you do? Many people, I heard in this mosque, I swear, I heard this mosque. Someone tells me, why you're making dua to the people there? Here. I said, this is the minimum we can do. Just simple dua. Simple dua, we cannot even, we're questioning about dua. Why? Make dua to, any, uh, to, to our brothers anywhere in the world and against the oppressors of anywhere in the world. And hopefully no one of us will be with them of the oppressors. That's what we always say. Try to avoid that. Try to make extra dua. If you have connections, talk to your MPs, MPPs. Talk to them. But by the way, when I say talk, talk smartly. Some people take them the courage and attack. No, we don't want any attacks. Never. We need to talk nicely and quietly and show them. If you hear the, this news media and everyone is talking, oh, it's, a, it's, it's an equal thing. No, it's not. It's not. If this thing happening in anywhere in the world, this will not happen. The killing will not happen like this. It doesn't work that way. But, but because they are the weak link, yeah, it's okay to, 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 to genocide them, to kill them. It's okay. And not only that, they are against us even telling them it's not okay. They are against us even telling them that we cannot even make dua to them. Even some people of us are doing that. And they are more dangerous than the people outside. Because how come? How come? The Prophet ﷺ stood beside everyone supporting everyone with the dua, with a smile, with anything you can do. It's not up to us to, to do anything, but up to us at least when we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And everyone is different, by the way. That's why the questioning is one to one. It's not one to all. Allah will meet us everyone alone. Alone. Allah will know. You can do this, did you do it? You are in the university, did you tell your brothers there that what's happening is wrong? The answer is, nicely again, because some people took them and start bound, uh, kill, uh, saying bad words or say, attacking, no. Nicely, this is the case, we're against genocide. Choose your words. Nicely and very quietly. Call me and by the way, if you were here in 9-11, I was here. And at that time, I remember my wife, my wife is true story, was scared to even to go in the market. I was, I, I was going there. I don't know if the people are, are over 25 like me remember that situation. And subhanAllah, after it's done, <laughs> all the Quran in the libraries are gone. All the Quran was sold out. Many people came to Islam. The attack really, after a while, many people revert to Islam because of what's happened. 
Some people, I said, wow, if we even planned this, we couldn't plan that way. No one sees what's coming that way. What's happening now, I believe, is waking us up, not killing them there. Their test there, yes, it's a hard test. But it's test for us again. What's your test? What can you do about it? How can you help? How can you support? Do you find uh, 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 the MP, the MPP? Can you find the charity organizations that they give in the sake of Palestine and try to support them? Did you try to go ahead and even make, raise your hand and make dua to them? At least the one who told me that you shouldn't make dua, at least tell him why. At least make dua to our brothers. They are our brothers. They are our brothers. Allah, it affected me a lot that someone in this mosque is telling me that. I know I'm not sure he's here or not. I, I don't remember his face, but it hit me. Anyway, the khutbah was about Ramadan. I'm preparing for Ramadan. I'm remembering Ramadan. I'll talk about it, inshallah, when Ramadan comes closer. And we need to learn more about Ramadan and learn about prayer and ask everyone to learn. It's not always talking about what's happening. You have to prepare ourselves. You have to warm up before what's happening. When come Ramadan, we come, you have to pray. It's not that easy. You have to train yourself. The Sahaba used to prepare themselves for Ramadan six months before. What's the main dua? Again, to finish with the dua. They're making Allah, oh Allah, balighna Ramadan. Oh Allah, make us from the people who reach Ramadan. All the time. And after they finish, what do they say? Allah, huh? Allahumma taqabbal min Ramadan. The Sahaba is making the dua for Allah to accept Ramadan. And alhamdulillah, we here in Oakville in Canada, alhamdulillah, I fasted Ramadan. What do you think? I fasted, I prayed behind the Sheikh Abd Aziz. Alhamdulillah, my prayer is accepted. Really? How do you know that? How do you know it's accepted? How do you know even that you are accepted? Make dua that Allah will accept it. Make dua that Allah will accept it. And make dua, make sure more dua to our people in Gaza. Allahumma hadina fi man hadayt. Allahumma hadina fi man hadayt. Wa'afina fi man a'afayt. Wa tawallana fi man tawallayt. اللهم انصر إخواننا يا رب العالمين اللهم عليك بالظالمين اللهم عليك بالظالمين اللهم عليك بالظالمين ولا تحشرنا معهم يا رب العالمين اللهم ارحم تقصيرنا اللهم ارحم تقصيرنا اللهم ارحم تقصيرنا واغفر لنا ولوالدينا اللهم بلغنا رمضان اللهم بلغنا رمضان اللهم بلغنا رمضان اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولمن سبقنا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا الذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف الرحيم وآخر دعوان الحمد لله رب العالمين وقوموا إلى صلاتكم رحمكم الله وأقيم الصلاة إن شاء الله we pray us immediately